Hello everyone and welcome on this new extended deeper analysis video on the gold from Extreme Trader. This is Sela speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly leave a comment and share the video. So finally the feds have finally announced that the new cut of the interest rates is going to be 50 basis points which actually caused the gold to rise all the way to 2600 and reverse exactly from there and drop to another of uh, more than of 400 pips. So what happened is in my opinion was somehow a reaction to the gold for the 50 basis points. I mean um Come on, guys. I mean, the whole world knew that the Mr. Jerome Paul is going to announce a new uh, um, cuts in the interest rates. And again, that was expected. But what was not expected is the 50 basis points. However, as we can see, uh, as a result, the gold has made, has made a huge uh, jump right here, closing at 2,600. Sorry, not closing. I mean, reaching 2,600 and then dropped all the way back and closed the candle at 2,559. So what does that mean? It means that the gold has already reacted to that level and now it's going to, in my opinion, retest the broken level of a resistance right here to gain, of course, some liquidity. After that, the gold might actually continue the rise. So again, uh, buying the gold right now at 2560 is not valid anymore. However, it's important to mention that this signal has actually been activated. As we can see, it reversed exactly from 2560 as I have uh, advised and it actually went in around more than a four not more exactly 400 pips of profit before reverses back all the way right now to the entry which actually brings something here that i should mention uh one of the comments here say he said this signal is not activated uh why because it didn't reach 2560.0 so I don't know where he came up with this, and I think he's not the only one. Uh, even on my free group of Telegram, I have actually asked my followers who took the gold signal, and sadly, 38% only, they said, yes, we took it. Uh, 62, they said, nope, we didn't take it. I don't know why. Maybe because of the same mistake. So actually, guys, when I send a signal to buy at 2560, it means that you should actually buy the signal once it enters the bracket of 2560. That's why I don't put the two digits here i don't i i mean i didn't say dot nine or point uh, zero or point one i just said two five six zero that's why as you can see the signal has been sent at two five six zero point eighty one and the gold has reversed exactly on the same price so just please make sure to enter the gold signal once it reached the bracket of two five six zero i mean this is just really common sense guys come on i mean i didn't even mention i didn't even think i have to mention it of course uh I don't know what to do with this one right here. Uh, as you can see, it's way, way far from this stop loss. But however, uh, it happens. Uh, some people actually misreading these signals. I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, uh, let's now see what we can do next with the gold. So first of all, I think, I think, I think, I think we have to delete now the old signal. Uh, so far, in my opinion, it's not, not valid anymore. Uh, why? Because daily chart here shows a very strong bearish momentum. Uh, those three candles right here shows us that the gold has actually a potential to continue the fall and most likely for the remaining days of this week, the gold will continue the fall toward the previous level of a key resistance right here exactly at 2530. Uh, One second, let me, let me just fix it. Uh, 2530 and after that the gold might actually resume the rise now it's important to mention also that here we have of course a resistance trend line that indeed has been respected so right now here uh, based on the four hour time frame we do have here a channel as well and that means that the gold indeed has respected that level of a resistance trend line and reverses right on it so therefore uh, based on daily candles and from my point of view the gold will continue the fall toward the broken level of a resistance at 2530 and after that we can look what will gonna happen later i mean if i just connect here the the real levels of support trend lines exactly now it makes more sense now we have here actually a better channel uh this was of course a fake breakout right here we have the real level of a support trend line which indeed has been respected so right now the gold has a potential to continue the fall respects the previous level uh, of a support trend line plus retest the broken level of a resistance and after that it might continue the rise so again, my friends, what happened right now is just a reaction to the news about the new cuts in the interest rates. But right now, the gold is making correction. So right now, we have to consider selling the gold. So moving now to the four-hour time frame. 
Now, based on the four hour time frame, actually, we don't have uh, much data to rely on with the four hour time frame. I would like to move right now to the one hour time frame. So right here on the one hour time frame, what, we, what do we have here is simply a support trend line, as we can see. Oh, perfect. So right now, that level of a support trend line indeed has been broken out from with that bearish breakout candle. And the gold actually has a potential right now to continue the rise toward the previous level of a support trend line. And then we can most likely sell the gold exactly right from here uh, toward, of course, the previous level of uh, resistance. Not only that, but if we look carefully right here, right there, exactly, right here, exactly, we can see right here a previous level of a real resistance. I would like to make it right here. Uh, we can see a real level of a resistance at 2569, as we can see right here which also became a real level of a support, which indeed has been broken out from with the same bearish breakout candle. And that tells us that the gold has a potential to continue the rise toward that level of a previous resistance, plus the pressure of the previous support trend line. Uh, that's gonna add a lot of pressure on the gold to continue the fall toward the broken level of a resistance again. Not only that, but we have another kind of confirmation with the resistance trend line right here, as we can see. So again, my friends, uh, right here we, has, uh, we have also a channel as one second oops one second so we have here a channel as channel as we can see right now and the gold is indeed respecting that level of a support trend line and most likely will continue the fall at least toward that level of a support trend line hopefully to break out from it to con uh, to continue the fall toward the resistance so again uh all signs says that we can sell the gold exactly right uh, right from here uh to sell not del sell uh 2569 Again, guys, I will not put the uh, the I will not enter the other two digits again once it entered the zone, which means uh, if it entered right here, for example, two, five, six, nine point uh, zero nine, you can place your sell order. However, uh, take profit level is going to be just right there at two, five, three, zero targeting around 400 pips of profit. I would say that's going to be our take profit level to um, two, five, three, zero. And the safe zone in this case that shouldn't be ranging higher than the key level of a resistance at 2587, which is actually the highest level of a real resistance that the gold has ever reached to. So again, my friends, we are looking for the remaining days of this week to correct uh, for a correction in the gold. Let's now see what will going to happen. And I really hope this signal is going to turn out to be a profitable one and a good signal. And again, don't forget to join, of course, our free group of Telegram to receive all kinds of updates about these signals. Um, even right here, of course, we have mentioned uh, attention, FOMC and, and federal interest rates news are coming in five minutes. So again, these updates can be received only on my Telegram channel. And speaking of that, did you guys check my midweek analysis results as well? Of course, guys, you know, um, we have here also on the channel a uh, Forex midweek analysis video on the USD pairs. As we can see, um, uh, the, the Euro USD has already reversed again from 1.1 1 .1, uh, and went all the way to the take profit level. Pound USD has also hit the take profit level. Um, AUD USD hasn't been activated. USD CAD, uh, right now it's running in loss. Uh, NZD USD uh, hit the take profit level of 83 pips. USCCHF also hit the take profit level of uh, 68 pips. So again, it was a good week so far for the uh, USD Forex signals. Again, of course, maybe we can update it with another video of the late week analysis uh, on the USD pairs. So until then, my friends, I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.